Hello, my name is Will Allison, a technical marketing engineer on the SD-WAN team at Cisco. In this demo, I will prove how Cisco SD-WAN optimizes SaaS application flows by using one of Cisco SD-WAN's built-in tools, Network Wide Path Insight, or NWPI. Network Wide Path Insight provides on-demand end-to-end application tracing serviceability of live traffic in the Cisco SD-WAN network. This information provides comprehensive insights into the operations of your network and can assist with performance analysis, planning, and troubleshooting. After a network operator creates a new trace in Network Wide Path Insight, vManage instructs the first router in the path to insert NWPI flow metadata into the SD-WAN header. This NWPI metadata will trigger all routers along the flow's path to stream information back to vManage, where it can then be correlated and observed. Now that you know what Network Wide Path Insight does and how it works, let's go over the scenario for this demo and how Network Wide Path Insight can help us validate NBAR's application recognition on the first packet match and Cloud on Ramp for SaaS's flow optimization of Microsoft Teams. This demo utilizes a client behind a branch router starting a call using Microsoft Teams. This branch router has a NAT DIA default route and all corporate traffic has more specific routes over the SD-WAN fabric utilizing IPsec tunnels over both public internet and MPLS circuits. With Cloud on Ramp for SaaS optimization, Cisco SD-WAN routers will send recognized traffic through the best performing path, either through the default route using direct internet access or by backhauling over the SD-WAN fabric through a gateway site. In this situation, WAN impairment over the public internet circuit should cause SaaS optimization to prefer an SD-WAN gateway exit over our MPLS circuit to improve application experience. The problem is, how can we validate the applications are recognized quickly and that the first flow of our SaaS traffic is optimized from the start? In the past, a scaled network operator would open up multiple CLI sessions with several commands and debugs to understand the application recognition, policy, and flows, and also using packet captures and traces for every router in the path. With Network Wide Path Insight, starting to trace is simple. Choose the site and source VPN where the flows originate and run the trace. NWPI will tag specific traffic with metadata, which will trigger all SD-WAN devices in the path to send relevant flows back to the controller for aggregation. In this example, I capture the first flow from a client machine to Microsoft Teams SaaS application. Viewing the insights on the trace, I find the first relevant flow to teams.live.com, which is recognized for me using the TLS header. In the insights advanced view, we can look at the first packet in the flow coming into the BR5 router on the LAN interface. Under Ceph forwarding, the candidate path for this packet is our default route over NAT DIA. This would be the case if not for Cloud on Ramp for SaaS's optimization and our application aware routing policy. In the next section, NBAR recognizes the first packet in the flow as Skype using SDAVC. While Skype is the service area referenced in NBAR, understand that the service area referenced is actually called Skype for Business Online and Microsoft Teams, which encompasses our Microsoft Teams traffic. In the App Route Policy section under Cloud Express, we can see that the first packet is routed to a gateway site configured through Cloud on Ramp for SaaS optimization of Microsoft 365. On the egress side of the advanced view, the transmit report shows the packet outputs from the router using Gigabit Ethernet 3, which is the MPLS backhaul to our gateway site. Back on the client machine's packet capture, we can see the same flow that we examined in Network Wide Path Insight. Here we see the TCP three-way handshake, TLS encrypted handshake, and the encrypted application data sent between the client machine and the Microsoft Teams server. The first flow is completed without being reset and is optimized from the very first packet. Using NWPI, we are able to prove application recognition on first packet match using NBAR, cloud SaaS optimization by application-aware routing policy, and the absence of any resets. In summary, in this demo, we showed how network-wide Path Insight works at a high level. The traditional approach to validating SaaS application optimization in a network using several CLI commands and manual packet traces. And we showed how network-wide Path Insight validated our SaaS optimization in a fraction of the time without skilled operators or specialized knowledge. If you would like more information on Cisco SD-WAN, network-wide Path Insight, Cloud on Ramp for SaaS, or many of the other topics discussed in this video, join our community page in the link in the description below. To run your own trace and experience what Network Wide Path Insight has to offer, schedule a Cisco dCloud demo today using one of the demos in the links below. Or start a conversation with your Cisco account team or partner and ask them about Cisco SD-WAN.